With our climate uh, coverage on a local level, one local school is getting some recognition for a program uh, that has kids learning about green technology and sustainable building. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran has our story. In the Salinas High School wood shop, students aren't just making gifts for mom and dad. Those who join the Green Academy are taught skills that make the oldest high school in Salinas a leader in sustainability. Everything's catered to the program. So for example, we in English, instead of just writing an essay about the green construction, we actually got to design a building on a, a program and then explain what our building does, how it's sustainable, and why someone would purchase or invest in this. Building solar-powered phone chargers piqued students' interest in renewable energy, and it wasn't long before they tackled bigger projects like this solar-powered shed and a student-led proposal which ended up bringing solar panels to the high school, saving the school district more than $400,000 a year on the electricity bill. It feels really cool. It's a really nice feeling to know that we've put in something that will help the school district, help students, helps everyone in general really. There are bigger lessons too, like what may seem like obstacles are really challenges and their teacher says they're preparing for a future in which these practices will be key in solving them. It has evolved from something that just started out with sustainability practices and construction to now one of the things that I talk to the students about and, and we share with and, and you know the class is also everything to do with hospitality, agriculture, and everything that's out there because so much of it is going to green sustainability. Reporting in Salinas, Bianca Beltran, KSBW Action News 8. Bianca Beltran and our own Aaron Clark reporting for us. The Global Climate Action Summit wraps up tomorrow. We also have much more on our website and on the KSBW News app.